my lovely love bugs and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking all about the Asian giant hornet and today's video was inspired by my friend Teal and she was like hey and she tagged me on Twitter and she messaged me in our learning community if you're interested in joining the bug learning community the sci hive the link is in the references below anyway so she was like hey I just saw a news report that was like Asian giant hornets has been found again and there was another nest when we eradicated it's 2021 like what's even going on and I was like this is the perfect opportunity to talk about some of the history of the Asian giant hornet like how we got here what can you do and answer some frequently asked questions or some questions that you love bugs have asked me about the Asian giant hornet. I'm going to separate this chunk about the Asian giant hornets into two videos. The first is kind of like the history, how they got here, like the updates and how you can help. And then the second part is going to be answering your questions. So there's going to be some questions answered in both just because like some of you asked stuff that I was going to talk about in this one. But yeah, basically that's how it's going to work out because I don't want a huge long giant video of me just blabbering about Asian giant hornets and you being bored. So, you know, you can pick and choose the stuff that you want to watch. As a quick aside, I'm going to be calling them Asian giant hornets because that is their official common name. I do have a colleague who wants to call them Halloween hornets, which I think is a brilliant idea. One, because Halloween is the best holiday and should have a bug named after it. And two, they are very thematically dressed with their black and orange coloration. Halloween hornet is alliteration good for marketing all around and just like rolls really nicely off the tongue and for Halloween Hornet is not stigmatizing to the insect or to the place that it is coming from and ESA is in uh, is, is working on changing a lot of problematic insect names right now so you know we just add them to the list I just I just I like Halloween Hornet but alas it is not yet called the Halloween Hornet it is currently called the Asian giant Hornet so that is what we are gonna be calling it also another aside I am filming this again. <laughs> I filmed this once already, but then more information came out. So I'm filming it again. This time I'm filming it. It is September 12th, 2021. So our opinions in the future may change what I recommend you all, you beautiful love bugs to do about this problem may change in the future as we get more information. So as of 20. 21 September 12th this is the information that we have cool hello and welcome back to my channel my name is Nancy for those of you who don't know me I am an entomologist which means that I study insects and I live in Quito Ecuador where normally I am doing bug tours toting your bum around the jungle to look at all the beautiful ecosystems and all the beautiful insects but when I'm not doing that I'm here on YouTube telling you about bugs all right now back to the video Okay, let's start off with how we even got here. Like, let's start with some, some history. The history is very short because they've only been in the Americas for a couple years. They are native to Asia, as their name might suggest. Asian giant hornet, Japan, China, that's where they're coming from. And our story actually does not start in the United States. Our story starts in Canada. Obviously, the Asian giant hornet got here somehow. We don't know how it got here though. That's kind of like the big question mark. In 2019 in British Columbia, there were some Asian giant hornet sightings and then eventually they found a nest and it was eradicated. It was eradicated using carbon dioxide, which is minimally damaging to the environment and also very targeted. And uh, we thought like, oh, we did it, awesome. And then that was, yeah. And then in December of 2019, we found an Asian giant hornet that had crossed the border into Washington state and Canada, British Columbia and Washington are like very close together. So it was really only about 50 some odd miles between where the last nest was eradicated and this new sighting. As of this point, me and many other entomologists were like, it's probably not that big of a deal. Like we, there was there were no red flags, there were no sirens, there's no panic happening because what we found was a sterile worker. How the Asian giant hornet reproduces because it is a eusocial insect is that it has a queen. The queens do all of the reproduction and the other hornets are like peasants that are fixing the nest and finding food and taking care of the eggs and taking care of the larva and taking care of the queen. So like 
only the queen is doing any mating. So when we found this Asian giant hornet in Washington in December of 2019, no one was worried because they're like, it can't reproduce. And winter, winter is coming and it's gonna die real soon. Fast forward almost a year later in October, 2020, this is when the first nest was eradicated. I did a whole video on how the media responded to the eradication of that nest in 2020. So if you're interested in seeing that video, it's right up here somewhere. Also, I'm going to be adding this video and all my previous videos about the Asian giant hornets in a playlist for you. So you can click the playlist at the end of this if you want to learn everything there is to know. Please check the date on those videos because obviously as we get more information, things get updated. All right. Cool, you can follow the whole story. October 2020, the nest was eradicated. This was done by trapping some Asian giant hornets and tying a tracker on them with dental floss, hashtag science. Sometimes it's not all machines, sometimes it's just trackers and dental floss. And those workers led the Washington State Department of Agriculture to the nest and was subsequently eradicated by vacuuming the hornets out of it. That nest had about 500 hornets and as far as anyone could tell, didn't have any reproductive queens in it. So we thought we were fine. We're like, we got it. But again, because entomologists, like, you know, we're always monitoring for potential new species entering, we didn't just like, oh, well, that's it, job well done, <laughs> and then like 10 years later, we're like, why are there Asian giant hornets literally everywhere? No, like we continued our monitoring programs and we continued our trapping programs. So then in 2021, early in the season, an Asian giant hornet, a dead one was found, but it was assumed that it was from the previous years nest because it was old, it was dried up, it was a male, like it didn't really garner any media or news or really any attention whatsoever because it was dead and old and probably from the year before. And then in August of 2021, we did more trapping. Our traps caught some Asian giant hornets. Three of them were tagged. So one of them was tagged and uh, we never heard from the tag again. Another one slipped out of its tag and the third hornet that was tagged led the Washington State Department of Agriculture to the nest. That was located August 19th, 2021. And that was eradicated using the same vacuuming procedure on August 25th. 2021 so you know, a few days later not not a bad turnaround you have to like organize the people you have to or get the space you have to analyze what how your plan of attack and then you have to go at it so i feel like that was done actually pretty quickly and then the first time i filmed this video I was like oh that's it except it wasn't it's apparently it isn't it because <laughs> on september 8th of 2021 and i'm filming filming this september 12th 2021 so yeah, pretty recently two more Asian giant hornets were found. And that's as far as that goes. So we, like the next part of that story isn't out yet. Is there another nest? We don't know. Are they gonna be trapped and tracked? We don't know. We, they were just sighted and found. All right, that, that's, that's as far as we are at this point. The two nests that were found, the one that was in 2020 had about 500 hornets in it. And the one that was found in 2021 was about three times that size with 1,500 hornets in it, which is a lot of hornets. But fortunately, this second nest didn't have any reproductives in it and was assumed to be too early in the season to even pro be producing reproductives. So we think that we got the nest in time, we eradicated it in time, so that it wouldn't produce queens that could then go on and make new nests next season. The hope is with all of this trapping and this monitoring and tracking the hornets back to their nests, we can capture all the nests that might be out there at the same stage to prevent them from producing queens that can then make new nests. So basically we got it in time. Yes, epic. Entomologists doing their job, we're excited. 
I ran a poll on my YouTube and also on my Twitter to see, kind of gauge y'all and what you guys are thinking about the Asian giant hornets. And most of you love bugs uh, really aren't that concerned. I had a lot more responses on my Twitter than I did on my YouTube, which makes sense I have a bigger platform on Twitter than I do on YouTube. And so about 53% of you were not concerned compared to about 28% of you on YouTube. But what's interesting is that the percentages for the people who are concerned were the same across both platforms that about 37 to 38% of you were possibly concerned. And the concerns that I saw were things like, are they going to affect the native wildlife? I'm worried about the bees or I'm in the area in which they are found. And so I'm worried about them, which makes sense. <laughs> so, Continue watching this video and also be sure to check next week's video when I'm answering the frequently asked questions or questions that I've gotten from you love bugs about the Asian giant hornet. So that way you can know all of the things and hopefully if you are concerned, it will help quell some of your concerns a little bit. These Asian giant hornets are still in the same vicinity as they were within about 60 miles of the initial sighting in Canada. And this new nest that we found in 2021 is also only within two miles of the last nest that we found in 2020. So this area is still very small. If you are outside of Washington, like don't panic, but we'll talk more about that in a second. How did we find them? Well, the Washington State Department of Agriculture set out traps, about 1,200 of them around the state of Washington to trap the hornets alive so that way they could be then tracked and lead us to the nests. What are the traps made out of? Basically alcohol and orange juice. It's, it's not particularly sophisticated. In fact, you can make one too, but more on that in a sec. You heard that, wait a little bit till I tell you how to do it and where you should do it because not everyone needs to be trapping. Just show you just how important these local reportings of sightings are. In 2020, half of the confirmed sightings were made by the public. So you, if you live in Washington, you can be really, really helpful to this story and we do really need your help. So my microphone got stuck in my shirt. So enjoy a second outfit from a re-record. whoop. How can you report them? Well, you can go to the Washington State Department of Agriculture. The link is down below in the references and you can report a sighting. Please have a picture so that way the sighting can be confirmed. There's no way to confirm a sighting without a picture or a physical specimen. Note that there are a lot of big, angry looking flying things that can look like the Asian giant hornet. The Asian giant hornet is about two inches long and it is a big bug. <laughs> So there's two inches between the seven and the nine. So there, that's how big it is. The Asian giant hornet is big, it's orange, it's black, it has a really distinctive looking face. There's lots of other things that can look like the Asian giant hornet to an untrained eye. These would be things like cicada killers, both the Eastern and Western, which are native and not dangerous to you. Various amounts of fluffy bumblebees, Asian giant hornets are wasps, so they won't have any hair on them. If it's fluffy, leave it alone. And also varying yellow jackets and wasps. And also a hornet that's found in the central United States that is also non-native is the European hornet. Can look similar, but is also way outside of the potential range for the Asian giant hornet. The Washington State Department of Agriculture also suggests that people in Washington can make their own homemade Asian giant hornet traps out of orange juice and alcohol. <laughs> I'll also leave that in the reference section below if you wanna build your own. But only people in Washington state should do this. As of right now, again, the Asian giant hornets are not outside of like a 100 mile radius of where they were officially first found in British Columbia. So if you're in like Kentucky or Connecticut, don't bother trapping. You're not gonna find anything and you're probably going to kill a bunch of local things and native things that need all the help they can get to survive, not to be murdered by a trap. So only please, if you are in Washington state, trap for them. So if you are in Washington, keep an eye out, set a trap if you want. Everywhere else, we just get to look on and see the heroes in Washington save the day. 
Well, I hope that you like part one of this 2021 Asian Giant Hornet update. Part two is gonna be all of your questions or the questions that you didn't get to yet. So keep an eye out for that next week. And I am so excited to keep talking to you about insects and I will see you all very soon. Bye.